Hey, what's going on? Today's topic is about interaction. Avoid talking to people. You do not know what their mental condition is. Very, very important. Your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, most people, most people are going to say that you're rude. Oh my God, this guy just says hi and he doesn't talk to people. Or he just sees you and then he just walks away. He doesn't even uh, acknowledge your existence. What's wrong with this guy? Is he rude? What's wrong with this woman? Avoid talking to people. You do not know what their mental condition is. You can see somebody out there that is very good looking, very, very attractive, but they're crazy as hell. How many times you see most women out there, you know, they, they, they have kids and they see a good looking man online or in the neighborhood. All of a sudden they bring this man to the house. Next thing you know, he raped your daughter. He raped your son. He raped you in the house and then he killed you. Uh-huh. Especially these days with women with that Me Too movement, LGBT all kind of crap. If you're a man, you see that flirting thing, go online, how to be a player. You know, oh, man, I lost my body counts. I had sex with so many women. You getting ready to go to prison. Flirting with women these days can get you to go to prison, can get you straight to prison. Mm-hmm. When you see a woman, you can look at her, she can look at you back. She cannot send the police to your house for looking, but if you say something, somebody, the cops, the police might be on your door. I'm here because of a harassment. You're harassing me. He assaulted me verbally. You got a bunch of women out there that when you tell them the truth, especially the, the feminist women, just for telling the truth, don't even know what they're talking about. This can be an act of violence for telling them the truth. So this is the society that you we're living in. You got to be careful who you talk to. Some people, and that's uh, most people in this country, do not know how to have a dialogue. All they know how to do is to have a monologue, right? I'm the one doing the talking. Every time you're trying to, you ever seen somebody like this, annoying man or annoying woman, they talking and then they stop talking and then you, the minute that you start, talking and this is listen 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 hold on hold on i'm talking hold on hold on hold i'm talking hold what are you doing talking with somebody like this you let them talk to themselves it's it's not disrespectful if you're gonna talk to somebody for the first time you can ask them do you know how to have a dialogue with all due respect do you know when to start talking and when to stop talking because you came and approached me about something, but do you know when to start talking and when to stop? Because I do not deal with people who only knows how to have monologues because all they do is talking, 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 nonstop. You can never get your point across. You cannot have a word in an edgewise. Why would you want to talk to somebody like this? This is somebody who's mentally sick. Sick people do sick things. They do crazy things. Avoid talking to people that you do not know. I don't care if it's a woman. I don't care if she's pretty. I don't care if it's a man. I don't care. Let me tell you something. This is America. People on drugs. Molly. Meth. Medication. Next thing you know, the person has what you call uh, ADD. Uh, ADHD. Anxiety. Uh... Autism, all kind of stuff are out there. People are crazy. I'm telling you. Frustrating. They're going to financial hardships. 
cannot pay the bills. Struggling, people are stressed. You can see the stress in people's eyes. People cannot focus. People get upset easily. Especially in an environment where there's nothing but poor people do not know how to communicate at all, competing with one another. We're poor, we're living in the same community, and we're trying to compete to see who has the nicest car. And we're both paying notes. Nobody holds a title. Almost getting repoed, but we're trying to compete, trying to keep up. Going broke. People are going through all this, and you're telling me that you're going to bother people? I don't even say hi to people. Not because I'm rude. I don't know what you're going through. I do not know what you're going through. That's why I don't say hi to you. If you in a good mood, right? In a good state of mind, you see me. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? When a brother just got paid and he sees you and is in a good mood, he's going to say hi to you. I'm telling you. Hey, what's up, my brother? What's going on with you, man? He just got paid. Women, same thing. How you doing? Hey, doing good today? She got some money in the pockets. People wake up in the morning, broke as hell, didn't even get a chance to eat breakfast, running late, and gonna say good morning. How you doing? If they do not say anything, or they say fuck you, that's what you get. It's not because they have personal problems with you. People are struggling in America, man. To th for those of you who's trying to come to America, thinking that people are doing good, come in and be rich too. Money just coming from trees because they're showing you Hollywood. They're showing you Manhattan, Madison Square Garden, the Empire State, the Empire State Building on 34th Street, 6th Avenue. You know, they're showing you Central Park and 50, on 57th Street, uh, 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 8th Avenue, they showing you, uh, uh, um, what you call that, uh, Disney World in Miami. Woo, my goodness, everybody, they showing you Vegas, obelisk shit. Woo, my God, look at Washington, D.C. They showing you things, but they do not show you where poor people are living. They're not going to show you what's going on, in, what's going on in Detroit, Chicago. In New York, there are places like, uh, in Long Island, it's very fancy, but there's a place called Wine Dance. If you're from New York, you know what I'm talking about. It's fucked up. Brooklyn, Brownsville, Bed-Stuy, shit, Avenue D, poor people, street, nasty, dirty. The streets are dirty. But they're not going to show that to people. No strand, like, shit, it's poor people. It's like a hood. People selling all kind of crap in the street. Of New York. Southside Jamaica, Queens, same problem. Uh, uh, Miami, Opelika. Do you understand? These people are struggling. These are monsters. I don't know if you watch that interview Vlad TV had with uh, Quentin, the Oracle, uh, the Oracle, the guy who was, uh, I believe he was 14. And um, 17, I believe, and th there was an armed robbery, and then he ended up killing the homeowner, and he was locked up for first de first degree murder, and then this guy uh, was in prison, didn't know anything, because he said he was so hungry, so poor. The only reason why the he got caught was because of cereal. Captain Crush. He liked cereal so much. Like, oh, they have a gang of cereal over here. Eating that, little kid, you know, starving and evil, have no mercy, no compassion for other people. That's all he knows. And people who do not understand them, people who do not know what poverty can, can cause you to do, they call them predators. When you're poor, you do not think the same way as a rich person. You see, put a rich person in a place where, there is, where there's no food for one month to see how their reptilian brain is going to start telling them, it's okay if you catch a rat, man, and you fry it, it's going to taste good. Yeah. 
The reptilian brain's gonna start talking now. Survival mode is on. Nothing is fancy. So when you see these people doing this, committing these crimes, before you go out there and blame them and calling them animals or predators, understand what they're going through. Understand what's going on. I got kids in elementary school who doesn't even know how to spell. Right here in America. Do you have homework? What, what grade are you in? Sixth grade. They don't give me homework. It's just quizzes and we don't, we don't get homeworks. Dumbing the kids. And these kids out there are growing in a house with no parents or sometimes single daddy or single mom. No balance in the home. Do not know how to interact. Anything gets them upset. Little boys are growing up being emotional as fuck. When they talk to you, they remind you of a bitch because they have their, their, their feminine ways. Yeah. What's going on? And you're telling me that you're going to talk to people that you do not know? Mess around and get shot. Or get stabbed. Or get beat down. Get stomped down. And these crazy monsters will be like, Whoop that trick, get up. Whoop that trick, get up. That's all they know. It's not their fault. The society that they, in which they live in turned them into monsters. Not because they are monsters. These people, if you give them education, good education, you talk to them, you kind of understand, uh, you teach them the value of life, you teach them how to read, uh, they, you give them like good moral standing, and you show them uh, how to interact in society, take them to a nice restaurant, travel with them. These could be the nicest people, the best people that you can have. They have nothing. They have nothing to be worried about. Man, a man killed his mother because his mom ate his burger in Florida. A burger. My mom ate, my mom, the mom, the mother who gave me birth, came home and then she found a burger in the fridge, which is poison, bad food anyway. And she was hungry, she ate it. And he came home, he was hungry. Where's my burger? You ate it? Boom! Shut the mom. Or stabbed her to death. Imagine this man, you'd owe, you owe him $10. Or you say something disrespectful. You say something, you say something that he thinks is disrespectful towards him. You're dead. Avoid talking to people if you want to make it to 50, to 30, or 40, or 50, or like you want to be a grandfather, you want to enjoy life. Avoid talking to people that you don't know. It, will t it takes me a long time before I let somebody in my house. Or before I talk to people. When I see women, you look at me, I look at you. You nod and I nod. You look away, I look away. We can do that forever. <laughs> hey, I have no problem doing this with you. I'm happy by myself, baby. I can See, I'm talking to the world now. I love talking to people. I don't need people to talk to me. Thank God for technology. I don't need people to listen to me. Because you got to understand that attention is the most important thing in life. If you're talking to people and they do not pay attention to what you're saying, then you're going to feel miserable and you're going to stop talking. But now I don't need to, nobody to listen to me. Because I have the technology to speak to the world. I got my subscribers, the loyal subscribers that is watching me now. And they like what I'm talking about. They understand. Every time I put something out there, I know they're going to put that subscribe uh, ring on. Oh, Will is on. He just got something going on. Let me see what he's talking about. Because I'm trying to teach you the value of life, the good ways of life, so that you can go out there and do something for yourself, avoid problems, and stay away from bad people, people that are ignorant, people who, don't, people who do not know how to listen, people that will uh, uh, trap you, whether male or female. You got to know. You got to understand. Sometimes you got to cut the grass uh, 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 around the house so you can see the snakes. Some, some of your friends are snakes sometimes. Be careful. Pretending to be your friend. These days, people do not know how to be friends. People know how to pretend. Too many financial issues. Have you ever noticed on YouTube? This guy came... Oh, give me... Hold on, give me one second. Yeah, so about that. Nowadays, YouTube is like a seasonal thing. 
If you turn on YouTube, you put YouTube on, and you're trying to watch something, you're trying to watch your favorite channel, and you see the commercial. Somebody's talking about real estate. I'm an investor. I'm out there showing you Ferraris, showing you the Lamborghinis, showing you everything, making you think that it's easy, it's possible. Do not fall for the shit. Denzel Washington said that. It's not easy. If it was easy, there wouldn't be no Denzel Washington. There wouldn't be no Morgan Freeman. Do you understand? If it was easy, there wouldn't be no Will Smith, no Wesley Snipes. Why do you think that like there are like the, the, the numbers of celebrities are always uh, little? It's because not everybody can deal with the pressure. Not everybody can go as hard as they go. These are people who work hard to get to where they are. You understand? Nothing is easy in life. Understand that. Do not talk to crazy people that is trying to tell you, oh, you can do it too. Let's go out there and make quick money. Bullshit. Now they stop talking about the investor. The, the season is over. Now there's a trading now going on. If you want to learn about trade, if you want to be the great trader, in one, two, three months, you can make millions of dollars. Come on, sign up and, and, and join my webinar. Listen to blah, 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 blah. You can read books and do that. You don't have to. These people that you see who made it is because they read books and they took risk. And they did something for themselves and then they became big. Now, you're going to follow them. Yes, you might make it if you keep on reading on your own. But going, taking classes every day, participating in everything that they have going on, you will never have time to do something for yourself. Implement the information. Take risk. Take a loss. Try something too. Anybody can do real estate. There are books out there. Anybody can trade. There are books out there. Anybody can become somebody. You can take the advice from someone, but you got to go out there and do something and stop listening to that person for a while because there might be another person that is 10 times better than whoever you're following. Understand this. Do you see me? I'm giving it to you all. I'm letting you know that there are people out there that are 10 times better than me, but you do not know. But if you like what you're listening to, you like the information that you're getting, use it. And then come back to the channel and say, well, thanks for the advice. Thanks for this. Subscribe. This is how you thank me. Share and subscribe. Share it to the world. When you subscribe to my channel and then you share it to the world, you don't put money in my pocket. You just not selfish. If you like what you hear, not everybody will, but other people will, okay? And then you share it, and these people will like it too, and then they will share, they will subscribe. This is how you build a platform. And then once the platform is built, now we can talk, we can have a, a YouTube Live. I can go and do documentaries and go out there. I'm not afraid to travel. And go out there, you know, if you guys wanna make donations, let's go, let's do something. You guys probably don't have the time. If I'm blessed with the time, I'll do it and I'll make you guys understand what's going on in the world. And next thing you know, you get you, I sparkled your brain and then you wanna do it too. And then we come up, hey man, I used to follow you. Now I'm doing my thing, I got my own platform. Congratulations. That's the whole point. Understand, do not waste your time talking to people that you do not know you might regret it. If you like, hit the like button, share, subscribe, more coming up. Have a good day.